All right, welcome to day 66 of our journey to Platinum here in Elden Ring. The goal of this series is to be the most thorough environmental playthrough that you will ever find of this game, down to collecting even the last row of fruit. I say at the beginning of every episode, just so you know what you're getting into, we are going super, super thorough to an obsessive and sometimes annoying level. And, uh, and we're just, we're going, we're going pretty much a very true 100% playthrough. Uh, and I'm also trying to, even though uh, environmental exploration is a big focus, I'm also trying to go super thorough in terms of NPCs and and, uh, and all bosses and things like that. So, what we're doing today is hopefully wrapping up the water portion of, uh, of Liurnia. Crap. And what I wanted to do real fast is kill all of these, get these out of the way. Uh, but that is never really simple considering that these are a huge pain in the butt. And there's also a lot of them around here. And I'm, I'm not approaching it well so far. Ooh, goodness. Alright, that's one down. That's one. Don't you hit me with that. Frick. So I'm going to clear all these out because we've we've gone... I've killed all of these before and I've kind of gone through this section of water, but not really. So I figure since we're wrapping up the water portion today, we might as well just be real thorough and do... Or hopefully wrap up the water section today. We might as well just be thorough and check out everything that's left as much as possible and uh, I'll show you once I kind of am out of combat here I'll show you on the map uh, what I'm hoping to get through today there we go I don't think that guy's seen me yet okay so we've we've basically done everything in the water except for so right here is sort of the line that that I've set uh, so we, we've gone through everything up here, everything over on this side. So we're going to work our way down through this stuff today. We've checked these couple of islands. We're going to work our way through all this open water here and then over to this. This is like another, another like Albanar town, I think. Work our way over and check out this little waypoint thing. And then there's a little bit of space over here and here that we haven't checked out as well. So the goal is to, to hopefully wrap up all of that today. Uh, we'll see what happens because since... Since there's some woods and stuff to check out, woods is always the thing that takes a little bit with being this thorough. Because uh, it's kind of hard to gauge where all you've been and where you haven't. So, hopefully we'll wrap up the water today and that'll mean that, that Liurnia is essentially uh, is essentially done. And I think this other one, he's probably going to wake up in a second here, isn't he? He woke up. So yeah, that'll well that'll mean that Liurnia is essentially done in terms of uh, like land and water exploration, and then it'll basically just be uh, Rea Lucaria left to go through. Whoa, wait, how did did he just go on? Oh no, wait, can they hurt each other with that? That that's the only way I can imagine that he just took damage. So that's really weird. Because I don't think I hit that guy. He just kind of disappeared all of a sudden. Uh, but then, th so the other thing that I've been thinking about is the fact that we still haven't, we haven't gone through, uh, Ainsel yet. And, um, and since the Ainsel River Well is, like, you access that here in Liurnia, uh, the, the River Well is, is over here. So, it's not technically part of Liurnia, so it doesn't really matter if I do that, like, as part of our Liurnia exploration. But I am thinking that we'll probably... Most likely after finishing Rea Lucaria, we'll go there. But there, in some ways, I'm considering going to Ainsel before finishing Rea Lu before even going into Rea Lucaria. So I'm not I'm not totally sure about that yet. So we will see. But just so just so you know, as you're following along, that's something that still needs to be done too. Uh, okay, so that should take care of all of those. I got a decent amount of runes out of fighting all of them. So now that that they're down, let me do my my normal exploration of of sort of cordoning everything off. Is that the word cordoning? Sectioning everything off to uh, to make sure that we explore everything. So all of this over here, that's towards that cave. So that's been checked. Uh, this section here, some of this open water we haven't really looked at. And again. You could pretty much just eyeball it and, and look and go, okay, there's nothing in this open section. But for this for this 100% playthrough, that's not enough. We, we got to check in between all this stuff. Even if I've checked before, we're going to check again. We're going to make it happen. Ah, uh, crap. 
Got these wraiths. Freaking, freaking wraiths and their wraith calling bells. Uh, okay, there you go. So then over here, I think pretty much all of this has been explored because this gets over to the land. Where's this last guy that's, oh, he's up here. Hiding away. So yeah, this kind of gets over to the land. So I think most of this we've already checked. Um, but just for good measure, like I said, as I go through this, this last portion, I'm kind of trying to make sure that anything that maybe I didn't check is done. This is pissing me off. Why can't I just... There, my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, so then everything along here is good because this land is done. Uh, all of this is good. And I just kind of, I want to check between all these, all these bushes and stuff just to be sure that there's nothing there. Wait, is this guy? Oh, he's still alive. But since he's on the land, I'm not going to worry about him. Kind of surprised he didn't wake up in the middle of all the commotion. You know something funny that I thought of while I was trying to figure out if uh, cordoning off is the right word. Uh, I remember my dad always saying when I was a kid, uh, and I'm sure he still holds this same opinion now because I think I've heard him say it in the past couple of years. He would always say that anytime that he was he was typing something like for work or whatever, like sending sending an email or even if he was just sending a text, if he if he was spelling something, or even if he was just writing something, if he was trying to spell something, and let's say it's it's for an email or on your phone or whatever, and it has autocorrect, and you just continuously, like, you cannot seem to to type it properly, and it's not correcting to the word that you're looking for, uh, and really, probably a better example would be when you're just writing and you don't have autocorrect, he, he would always say, yeah, eventually I just, I just use a different word. I just use a synonym that I know how to spell. And uh, I sort of adopted that same practice with things, because if you if you don't know how to spell something, rather than making yourself look stupid for spelling it wrong when you thought you spelled it right, literally just using a synonymous word is probably way easier. So, and I, I, I almost feel like that's something that is typically, I feel like that's something that they should teach in, in like, English courses, is just... And maybe they do. Just use a, a synonymous word. But I feel like usually they just say, well, you should just get better at spelling and make sure you can spell as many words as possible. But if you don't have a dictionary or something near you or autocorrect near you, just use a different word, honestly. Uh, and this is... Okay, so this was Glintstone Key Island, right? I believe it was. So, like I said, I'm just trying to go through each, each part of this open water as best as possible uh even though i don't think that there's much of anything that we're gonna find throughout this open water uh oh yeah and so these these carulean scarabs that are flying over the water or hovering over the water i guess i think i was thinking that some of these were more of the the marionette dolls that drop the golden rune sixes but they're actually not, so some of this, there's there's probably not as much that I really need to check through as I thought, because I think I was looking at some of these going, oh yeah, so since those haven't been pulled down yet, I haven't explored there, but these are the, since they're the scarabs, they just respawn every time. They're not like the marionettes where you pull them down once and they don't come back again. Uh, okay, and then this, it wasn't this the island that I checked, I'm pretty sure I checked this island yesterday as well. I just, I literally forget day to day sometimes what I've checked and what I haven't. But I'm pretty sure if I go up here, I think that this was where, uh, yeah, I don't remember. What did I get up here? Wasn't there something that I got up here? Or was there literally nothing even on this island? I don't know. I'm sure I checked it, but I just, I don't remember what I got up here. Cool. So that's done. And then, oh yeah, these, that was another thing I was saying we had to check today. I remember noticing that yesterday. These, like, burned down woods here. I've got to go through those. Uh, but there's still some of this open section here I want to go through. So let's finish this off real fast. Uh, and, and seriously, I know that, like, this, this seriously seems overkill. But see, there's like, even just like mushrooms. And see, there's this little statue here. So just, it feels like there's a chance that if you don't sort of walk through 
all of even the open water, I just feel like there's a chance that you could miss something, which is why I still do it. Even if it literally just at a glance looks like there's nothing. And even though you don't have to pick up the mushrooms and stuff, it's like, it's like, what, what else do you risk missing if you don't sort of walk through each section? Because when I say 100%, I mean 100%. Uh, okay, so then this, this portion should pretty much be good. Uh, oh, there's a grace right here. I didn't know there was a grace here. Isn't there one? Oh, okay, yeah, I was saying that I figured there'd be one in here, but I was thinking it was going to be on the opposite side, I guess. I said yesterday that there'd probably be one in here, but I was thinking it was going to be over here. So this is the temple quarter. So let me just, this last little bit here, so all the way over to pretty much the edge of, of this little town or temple quarter or whatever it is. I don't know if, if it's called temple quarter because of this area here or if, no, that's gotta, that area right there has gotta be the temple quarter. I was thinking it was another village type thing or, uh, or town, but I guess I was just thinking that because of the, uh, the academy gate town, so I was just sort of naming it the same type of thing. Uh, yeah, but everything all the way over to the edge of, of the Temple Quarter, I think for the most part, is probably good. Let's just sort of run along the edge here real fast, though, before we actually head inside. Yeah, okay, so this is considered, this is what's considered the Temple Quarter, not the stuff off in this open area, so that's good to know. So, Temple Quarter, though, I think we're gonna do second. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way through those like burned down woods where and I, I don't know if that's exactly what they are they're not really I mean they're in the water so maybe they're not technically burned down but they look like dead dead trees dead woods so I'm gonna go run back over there and go through that first before going through the temple quarter I think uh, and it seems like the main thing over in this area where all the dead trees are seems like it's mostly like land octopus over here so, it should be relatively easy to get through here. I don't know, like, what's in here, though? Because there's a, like, look at how many of them there are. Oh, and is that, wait, right there? Yeah, that one, that's the, the waypoint. I see it over there in the fog, and I don't think I've been to that one yet, like I said. Uh, I don't think there's another grace at that one. Because I think Folly on the Lake is the only one of those waypoints all throughout the water that actually has a grace at it. Because I think it's I think it's Folly on the Lake that has one inside of one of those waypoint things. Still don't know if that's what they're called. That's just what I always call them, though. I guess because they're just like little little stone waypoints throughout the water. What is bubbling? The heck! Did you hear that? I wonder if that was like it. It's it's still dying and just the noise hadn't finished yet? That was really weird. You know, some of these, I probably, for some of these, should stay on Torrent for some of this because of the fact that I'm in the water, so... Or, not because I'm in the water, but because uh, it's a wide open space, so it's not like being on Torrent's gonna be a problem. I think it might make it a little bit easier flying through some of these. Oh, there's some little ones, too. You know, it'd be kind of interesting if, with some of the big ones, when you killed them, if little ones popped out, too. Uh, or, like, yeah, like, popped out after you killed them, because it, it, it would kind of be like, oh, I literally said I was going to stay on Torrent, and then I didn't. Um, but, yeah, the little ones popping out, it, it would make me think of, uh, of, like, pregnant spiders, when they've got all those little dots on their backs. Oh, shoot, here's the other one. I need to move. Uh, and then when you, like, step on it, all the babies just come f just flooding out of it. Because see, it's got the, like, pustules on it, so it would make me think that maybe they're, like, like small octopus eggs. Crap, I am not in good shape here. Can I? I'm just going to do this to finish this guy off. There you go. There you go. There's a little one over here, too. All right, ma'am. I'm going to take you down just like all the others. 
Should be a stagger coming soon. There we go. There we go. Ooh, but I might not get it. Oh no, we're good. Alright. These, even though, again, like, these are not, even though I got myself in that sort of tricky situation there, these are not that difficult to kill. It's just when there's this many of them, it takes a while. Oh, there's another one. Why are, why are there so many little ones just hanging around here? That I'm not even seeing at first. Okay, so that one on the land, I don't think I care about that. Okay, so let's kind of, as usual, just like with any area that I go through, sort of zigzag through this area real fast and uh, just see if there's anything in any of these, like, bushes or at the base of, base of any of these trees or anything. Because I have a feeling there's got to be something in here, right? I feel like it's not just... Yeah, I feel like it's not just all of the, the land octopus that are hanging around in here. Like, there's got to be something that you get in here. But I, I could be I could be sorely mistaken. Who knows? Maybe I'll sprint through all of here, zigzag between the trees and find nothing. Because that's happened plenty of times throughout the playthrough. Uh, yeah, so like I said, the, one on, the ones on the land, I'm not going to worry about them. Because all of the land is done. And man, like I've mentioned, going through Liernia to this thorough of an extent has been, like, it's been rough, I feel like. It's taken forever. And so I'm so excited to move on to something else very soon and uh, and check out some other areas and stuff. And even though, even though Rey Lucaria is still part of Liernia, I'm excited to go into that because we haven't gone into a dungeon in a long time. I did not mean to use that. I didn't realize I had switched. Yeah, see, so it seems like these little ones are mostly just around the base of some of these trees. And the big ones are sort of more out patrolling. Uh, but this section here I think is good. I think this... Yeah, that's where that mushroom was, so that, that I went to. I'm just sort of half expecting there to be, like, an item at the bottom of one of these trees or something. So that there's a reason to sort of sprint through all of this. But again, maybe there's just not... Oh, have I talked to this guy? Ah, the poor fellow. Gone perfectly mad. Love, revenge, the f frenzied flame melts it all away. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I've read that before. So I think I talked to him already. I feel like with these, though... Uh, I don't know... I know there's a name for them, whatever they're called. Like the... They're not like... They're not ghost people. There's some sort of word for them. Some sort of... There's some sort of guide or something like that. Uh, I feel like they can be real easy to miss at times. If you're not... If you're not, like, really keeping your eyes peeled. Because see from here, like, I can't even see him. Because they're, they're essentially, like, transparent. So even here, like, look at how hard it is to see him. You could totally miss one of those and then just not get... A bit of lore from from their di I mean it's not really dialogue I guess since you're reading it but the lore you like you've missed that lore from them whoop he's jumping okay so I think all of this is good then and then we've got this sort of open section here leading into some of these woods and some of these woods bits and pieces of that I don't think have been explored yet but that I think that goes back over to yeah Rose Church so a lot of that has been pretty much checked uh, because of the fact that it, it kind of gets in a rose church. But all, all in good time. We'll head over there shortly. I just I want to finish off all of these first. Crap, 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 crap. Dang it. There you go. There you go. I need to drink some Karulian tears real fast. I'm all out. My tears have run dry. Okay. Okay. Looks like, is this the last? Oh no, it's not. There's still, there, there's so many big ones over here. It's redonkulous. Uh, you know, these trees too, they, they look like... Ooh, did he just see me? He did just see me. These trees, like the, the, tree, the big tree trunks, they look like uh, the same thing that you see when there's death root around. Like whatever, whatever those death root like stumps are. So I wonder if it's similar. Maybe, oh, you know what? That's probably why the forest looks dead is because, like, 
those who live in death, or however the death route works in terms of, of the lore, another thing I don't understand about the lore, that's probably why this forest is essentially dead. That would make sense. And we're almost over to this, this waypoint that I was talking about. I don't know, I guess we'll see if there's anything in there or if I've already checked it. It's very possible I've checked it and I just don't remember. Crap, I missed, missed my window. I'll get it again. Don't... Crap, don't heal. Okay, but I need stamina, stamina, stamina. Boom. Is that enough? Boom. That, it, that sure is enough. I almost have enough for another level, too, which has been nice. Yeah, so is there something... Yeah, so I must have already grabbed whatever was here then. I, I For some reason, I totally thought I hadn't been here yet. Uh, okay, oh, and there's another one. My goodness. They're just literally, quite literally crawling through here. This land is crawling with them. Or not this land, this water is crawling with them. Okay. All right, yeah, so now once... I think this might finally be the last one. Once once I've confirmed that we've got the last one, then we'll kind of backtrack a little bit, go through some of the open part that I sort of skipped over. Uh, and then we'll go into a little bit of these woods that I think I haven't checked yet, and then we'll head into the Temple Quarter. And uh, hopefully that'll pretty much be the last thing. And then, then just the water will be done. We'll be able to basically close up shop and move on to the next area. Uh, okay, alright, so let's run back this way to some of the stuff that I think I kind of skipped over real fast. I'm wondering, though, if there's another grace somewhere in here. I feel like there's a, I feel like there should be another grace, like, somewhere in the middle here, but maybe not. Maybe that's just sort of an open area without one. I don't know, I think that that's what's making me think that maybe, maybe there's still something that I've missed. Is because I just, I don't know. I don't know if there's another Grace in there somewhere. And I, in my first playthrough, since I was also trying to, like, super duper 100% in the first playthrough I ever did that I didn't record. Uh, I was trying to make sure I found all the Graces and things like that because I wasn't sure if maybe a Grace would have something to do with, with, uh, with the trophies. Excuse me. Like, if one of the trophies was, was discover all graces or something, even though I wasn't trying to platinum in my first playthrough like we're trying to do this time around. Uh, but it's in some ways a little bit surprising to me that one of the trophies isn't collect all graces because I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't think that that's one of the ones that you get. And I guess it's because there's so many. It's something like... It's something like 300-some sites of grace throughout the game, I think. Uh, I know that I've looked at it on the wiki before, like the final count of how many graces, how many different sites you can find if you find every single one. I don't remember what the exact number is, but it's a lot. And uh, and I just I always thought that that would be kind of a cool trophy if that was if that was a trophy that you could get because it really rewards deep environmental exploration because if you're not exploring super in depth, then you're gonna inevitably miss some some sites of grace throughout the world. So, and I should look that up again, how many sites of grace you can find. And because I, every now and then, like, I haven't done it as much lately, but I've mentioned multiple times throughout the series that I kind of, at times, try to, to check the wiki after an episode just to, like, just that way nothing's spoiled for me, but it's like I've already gone through the area, and then I can sort of check the wiki and just see that I miss anything. So I should probably do that again soon, considering that I haven't done that for some of the areas we've gone through. It'll help me know if I miss any grace, sites of grace. Okay, so this stuff is, so this is good all the way up to these edges. Uh, let me go sort of all the way around. Is that a, oh no, that's a scarab. I thought that was a transport gate over there. So yeah, let me go all the way around this temple, temple quarter real fast, just to see if there's anything along these outskirts. Oh yeah, this is another thing. Yeah, I haven't gone through this yet, because I forgot about all these Miranda flowers here. 
Uh, and I'm not enjoying the intense fog right now. It's making life a little bit more... A little bit more tricky. Because I can't see as far to see if I've gone somewhere. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I just cracked my jaw. Ah. Holy crap. Have you ever... Okay. And it... it like... And that's not going to go away for a couple of minutes. I hate when I do that. Have you ever done that where you, like, you straight up cramp your jaw and... Oh my goodness, it feels like something catches. I know better than to... to... exaggerate my yawn like that, because then I end up... it ends up cramping. But the thing is, okay, so the scary thing is the people that have that, uh, that issue where their jaw after yawning at times can can get stuck open that's so scary okay so i've made it all the way around then and then all of this is done so i guess maybe let's go back around over to where all those miranda flowers were and actually though while i'm while i'm standing on this side let me quickly explore everything up to the land over here cuz i think some of this open portion on this side of this, or I guess not this side, but technically behind the waypoint here. I think some of this I haven't walked through yet because of the fact that I've done this section of land, but I probably haven't walked through this section of water up to the land, I don't think. So, let's just, let's just check it real fast. Oh my goodness, I don't want to cramp my jaw again. That probably hurts as much, and it is as... Maybe frightening isn't the right word, but as shocking as when you give you get, like, a charley horse in your foot. Like, that hurt. That definitely hurts much worse than, than when I, like, cramp my jaw like that. But getting a charley horse in your foot, holy crap. Drives me... It, it, it's awful. Uh, and wait, okay, so this this is where I'm going to start to wonder what I've seen and what I haven't. Because I know that this, so I remember this inner portion here. Isn't this what then leads, this is what leads back underneath here. So this I'm pretty sure I've been to. I think that all of this is done. And then going along the edge of land, well, this isn't really the edge of land. This is just... Oh, but then this... Yeah, okay, so I know I know where we're at here. But then... Excuse me again, my goodness. It's like once I start yawning, I don't stop yawning. Okay, so then this gets back to Rose Church. So this stuff here... I'm pretty sure I checked. Uh... Because then we've got these Albinorics walking around... I just feel like, isn't there a section here that I, like, did I, I oh yeah, because this is near Folly on the Lake, so I must have gone through all of these woods then, I'm guessing. I'm assuming that all of this is, is done then, and this has been checked. Uh, and then like I said, Rose Church is done, let me, let me kill these guys real fast. Don't you do it! Man, it takes four hits to kill those guys. Okay, so yeah, so Folly on the Lake, we have I, I think we've gone through all of this stuff, so I think we went through this. This section right here was what I was wondering if I hadn't gone through, but I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm not even going to worry about that, pretty sure that I have actually because it leads over towards where the land is. Oh my goodness, I'm going to yawn again, this dread, what the heck? <sighs> So, yeah, so that, that has to have been checked, too, at this point. So I'd say there's probably nothing else in this little strip here that I haven't checked, since this is what leads over towards the, the temple quarter. So then, yeah, I guess now let's run over... Let's run over to where all these Miranda flowers are at. And check this out. Let's also kill these Albinorics real fast. So we've got these Miranda flowers over here, which is sort of on the edge of the Academy Gate Town. 
Uh, and the Miranda flowers are right near where a whole bunch of coffins are, so I know I haven't been through those coffins yet. I think we were standing over near that yesterday, and, and that's kind of what we were talking about, is how that hasn't been touched. Which guy has seen me? Who has seen me? Oh, this one over here. That's right, and these, these magic Miranda flowers do that thing. It's, it's like a shower of, of magic. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna need crap. I'm gonna need fire. Because I still... I really should put my flame sling back on. Oh, I've got fireballs. I think I those are probably still there from the last time that I was fighting one of these. TBH. These, though... I Aren't these the ones that, that absolutely flip out? Or was those... Was that the death blighted ones? Or not the death blighted ones. Was that the one? No. What did I fight that... I can't remember which type of Miranda flower it was that, from a few episodes ago, that absolutely just flips out and just flails her head everywhere after you hit her with fire. I don't remember exactly which one that was. Uh, and there's so there's Albanorix patrolling right here too. So this this part out front of Rose Church, I feel like I haven't checked. Yeah, some of this I haven't, but let's let's basically kill everything first. That way there's nothing getting in the way as I explore. These guys, with their massive... Massive, like, he's basically carrying a tree trunk. Holy crap. I didn't know that this one was just close. Man, yeah, so you've got, like, the, the death-blighted area with all the dead trees that's got all the land octopus. And then you've got this that's just infested with Miranda flowers. And there's, there's definitely magic flying my way right now. I, I heard it. Yep, there it goes. Alright, oh, and then there's there's this guy. There's so many of them. So many. Right, if you stay underneath, they can't hit you super well, so I'm going to kind of stay underneath. Let me also get this little one, though. Okay, I'm good. You know what? I'm just going to hang back for a second, because my stamina is absolutely non-existent at the moment. And I'm going to about to get poisoned. Woo! That was kind of close. Uh, I'm gonna just let that one do its thing, I guess. Because it's so close, I don't really want to waste a fire pot on it. This one's not close, though, so I'll waste a fire pot on this. Even though it's not really a waste. It's, it's what you gotta do. I like... That's why I use fire on these, is because of the fact that they... Oh, crap. I got poisoned anyway. Alright. At this point, I'll just tank it, then. Uh, but that's why I use fire on these, is because of the fact that, that it, uh, like, it sort of staggers them forever. They, they just kind of stand there, waiting for the fire to dissipate. Okay, that one's dead. I need to put some boluses on real fast. Do I have any crafted? I do not. How's my health doing? Okay, my health is fine. Uh, yeah, why? I'm kind of surprised I don't have any of those crafted. Last time I was near Miranda Flowers, I probably used used them all up. Okay. Get rid of that poison real fast. Heal myself up. And then continue on this hope-filled journey. This waypoint, though, there's I haven't checked this one yet, right? I have not. Smithing Stone 2s times 3. And with all these little ones, like, sometimes it can it can get dangerous because of the way that the little ones do that thing where they just fling their head around. Yeah, that thing. And if you're standing right next to them, that can, like, totally stun lock you. Okay, this is perfect that's doing this. Boom. Gotcha. Okay, then we've got 50 million little ones right here. And I guess by that, I, I think it's really, like, there were probably seven. So maybe not quite 50 million, but it's it was still a lot. Seven's, seven's a lot. It's a shroom right here, some LSD that I'm going to grab real fast. And this was back where the Albanorix were at, where I killed them. Okay, so is this it? Just two more, or is there more hiding out that I'm not seeing? It might just be this one and the one that in the... in Miss Miranda that's over by the coffin. So I think we're almost done here. Alright, I'm just gonna tank it, not worry about the poison. Oh, wait, what did I... 
did I stagger? Why did she stop poisoning? Usually it's a lot longer than that. That was odd. A bit strange. Pick up the item, please. Thank you. Oh, and then, okay, so why are there... There's a few little ones just sitting on the outskirts here. Oh, there's also more Albinarx patrolling here, but I think this is... I think this is back to area that I've... Or almost area that I've explored. This is just outside of area that I've explored, I think. Because... Oh, yeah, because there you go. So that's where that grace is right there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so this part, I think, has been explored as well. But then let's go over to these coffins. Kill this last Miranda flower. Loot the coffins. And then I can just do, like, a final run-through of the parts of land that I'm not sure if I've gone through. And then we're, we're pretty much done. Like, we're good to go. Uh, and there's still, like, there's still NPC stuff that we've got to do that I want to do before we head into to Rhea Lucaria. At least I think there's stuff. I've still got to look at their quest lines and figure out if there's much that I've missed. And maybe maybe I've managed to to stay on top of most of the quest lines. I don't know. Frick! That's what I'm talking about when they just start swinging like that. It's so annoying. Let me heal real fast. That rune bear is over here in the, the corner that I've fought a couple times now, so I do not intend to fight him again. There's still more or we... No. Looks like we're good. Sweet! Okay. So, Golden Rune 3. What else you got for me, Coffins? Golden Rune 3. Give me something decent. Golden Rune 2. It's not the decent that I was talking about. Golden Rune 4. It's probably a 7 somewhere in here, right? Like a, like a super nice one? I feel like there's always... Like a high, just one like high-end golden rune somewhere in these. I think the highest I've seen is five though. Here, yeah. Highest in this was five. Okay, so, oh wait, there's one right here though. And an, another one. Okay. So, this is what I want to do real fast. Uh, oh no, we still haven't gone through the temple quarter yet. That's right. We still gotta go through that. I totally forgot about that. All right, so this hits. This gets over to where the room bear's at in the corner. So we explored all this yesterday. So let me just get through. Again, do like a last little run through some of this water. Make sure that we haven't missed anything in a couple of these spots, and then we'll we'll finally be ready to to head into the temple quarter. And uh, and we'll make it happen. We will make it happen in the temple quarter. It's the happen in place. It's gonna be great. But what I'm trying to do right now is sort of hit the edge of anything I've explored in the past. So this is the edge here of, of stuff that I explored before, because we, we did everything in the Academy Gate Town. Uh, and then since there's a grace up there, a lot of this stuff surrounding this grace would have been done. I do want to run through just the edge of, of these woods real fast, because there's part of me that feels like the like this outskirts these outskirts of woods maybe I didn't run through all of at some point but since that grace is there I probably did because I would have had to run from the grace over to Rose Church uh, but it doesn't hurt to, to kind of just quickly run through a bit of this again just to be sure uh, wait and how close are we to so isn't this the the waypoint where Oh yeah, this is the spot where all of those those lobsters are sitting. Yeah, so then this part's been done. There's just this little square here leading up to Rose Church that I'm wondering about. Yeah, so this this I think is good too. Uh and then everything back. Okay, we'll check that in a second, but yeah, so this this last little section here, this open area leading over to where all these Miranda flowers were. Some of this, I think, also was a couple of things that I may have not fully run through. Uh, but again, you can kind of just eyeball it and see that there's there's nothing really here. I mean, it's pretty much just, pretty much just open area. Uh, and who knows, I may, I may, like, when I'm not recording, do one last run through some of the stuff in the water. And if I find anything... I'll hit record, but we've pretty much we've pretty much trodden all of of this water at this point. I feel like 
I mean, it's been... It has been a thorough adventure through here. What is that? Is that the dead? Yeah, those are the dead Albinarics over there. Okay, we're almost ready. Just bear with me. We are almost ready to head into the temple quarter. There's a couple, couple more things that I want to check here to make sure that we are good to go and 100% certified. Uh, so all of this is good. This was Woods. Again, next to Rose Church. So Rose Church is sort of like my 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 guideline here of knowing, okay, I know I went through Rose Church, so therefore a lot of the stuff surrounding it has got to be good. Uh, has got to be done and set. Whoa, did you see that log just rolling through the water? It was weird. Okay, so then this, this was... This was the part I was talking about. Let's run quickly, just as a refresher for me and maybe a refresher for you. Let's just run quickly over towards Folly on the lake and just kind of see, like, was this stuff... Yeah, because wasn't the... So there's a crab... Yeah, there's a crab underneath there. And then over here, there's more, like, little Miranda flowers. Miranda squirts. Isn't that what they're... Or no. Miranda... Blooms, maybe, is what they're called. The little ones. Uh, and then here on this side... I feel like I did this part, too. Because then... Yeah, Folly on the Lake is, is right near here. Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, I think we can pretty much call all of this good. Folly on the Lake, this section, the section in the middle here, because then we get over to uh, Fallen Ruins of the Lake. This is good. This stuff over by where the Miranda flowers is good. Where the Miranda flowers are at is good. This stuff back here is good. So now let's go to the other side of the temple quarter. At that grace that I grabbed. And um, and we'll check through the temple quarter. Uh, let me see. So that's this is the way I want to go. Okay. Cool. So let it let us slowly and methodically work our way into the temple quarter. And find everything there is to be had within these quarters. I think it's mostly it's mostly going to be items in here. I th like as in I think there might be a chest or two in here, from what I remember. Uh, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the same thing I always do with anything like this. We'll kind of zigzag back and forth all along here. Make sure we don't miss anything. Make sure that. Any chest that's here is grabbed. Make sure that I've walked along all these different, like, sunken-in buildings and all that. Because you never know where there's going to be an item or something interesting. Uh, but this this little area here, I mean, since we ran all the way around it already on the outskirts, made me realize it's not really that, that big. Temple Quarter is not all that extensive. Even though, for some reason, on the map, it kind of looks like it, but I guess it's not really... Well, especially compared to the Academy Gate Town. I mean, that took forever to go through that one day when we when we explored that. Okay, so this is, this is the grace for Temple Quarter. And then, like I said, I want to make sure that I'm going along each one of these sunken buildings and stuff. Just to be sure that I don't leave anything behind, because I don't, I don't know what all is sitting throughout here. Oh, and there's some Trina's Lilies here. But then I'm also trying to not run too far out of here because I don't want to aggro... I don't want to aggro all of the, the land octopus that are out here. Some some Miranda Blooms. And Albinaric. Oh, there's many Albinarics hanging out throughout here. You are dead, my friend, and you are dead. You get a car, and you get a car. Okay. Uh, so then this is this is the sunken house that was right next to the Miranda flower that I just killed. About this. So this one, I don't think there's really anything on here. So that should be good, and... These super pointy ones, we're not going to be able to get to the, the tippity top of the pointy ones anyway, so we don't even need to worry about trying to go up those those roofs. 
Some Blood Roses here, though. I will take that. So this is probably the easiest way to make sure I don't miss anything, is to sort of go again along the the outskirts, but this time instead of just walking along the outskirts... Uh, yeah, here's a chest. Uh, like, outs kind of outside of everything, walk on the edge uh, on the buildings. Ice Rind. Ice... Is that how you say that? Ice Rind? Ice Rind? Hatchet? What does that do? I think I've seen people use that before. Oh, that's a technically a dex weapon. It causes frost buildup. A hatchet with a frost-coated blade. One of several gifts given by Castle Soul in the distant north. Castle Soul sucks. I hate going through Castle Soul. Known as Freezing Fog, the blade is thought to be a dragon scale. Inflicts a powerful frost effect. I see a Miranda flower walking towards me. Hoarfrost Stomp. Stomp hard as... Oh yeah, we know about that ability. Hello. I don't think that I didn't see you. My menu is transparent. I could I could see you walking. Uh, I That weapon almost kind of seems like, since it scales more with dex than with strength, kind of makes me want to maybe try that out eventually. I mean, I really enjoy bleed, but... I mean, it does frost damage, so I could maybe transition over to more so uh, getting frost build up than, than, uh, than bleed, I guess. So it might not be a bad thing to try out. Because as I've been saying, like, I want to try other weapons other than, like, sticking with this katana for too long, I guess. Uh, but I think it's just I don't really want to... I don't want to upgrade another weapon, because right now, because, I mean, I'm at plus 12 with this weapon already, so I guess it's just, there's part of me that doesn't really want to use, mostly, I don't want to use the resources to upgrade another weapon from from nothing right now. Because uh, it's going to be a long time before I get Rivers of Blood, and it sounds like Rivers of Blood has mostly been nerfed anyway, so it sounds like it kind of sucks. So, I'm not nearly as interested in using it as I was. But I definitely, I want to have like a decent, or like a, more than a decent, like a real good weapon ready to go and upgraded for uh, for once we get to Melania. Which is obviously many, many moons from here. It's a long way. Much, m many treacherous paths must be walked before we get to Melania, but still. I'm just thinking ahead of, of like, what weapon do I want to have when I get to her? Because, I mean, there's other bosses that are really tricky between now and the end of the game. But, she's probably going to be the, the most, the most frustrating one. And the one that I'm going to want to have the most upgrades and everything. The most, the most levels and, and the, the best weapon and all that for. Because even a lot of the stuff in... And I'm, I just ran over here real fast because I wanted to check behind a couple of these rocks. Uh, yeah, because I think that even in Faramazula, I think that everything is much easier... Or I shouldn't say much easier, but but noticeably easier in Faramazula than it is at the Halic Tree. Excuse me. Uh where Melania is at. So because of that, I'm more so concerned about making sure that all of my stuff is ready for the Halig tree than I am for making sure that everything's ready for uh for Fair Missoula. Cuz Fair Missoula, I mean it's not it's not easy by any means, but the Halig tree is just like everything, not just Melania, just all of the Halig tree from what I remember is just hell. So it is not something for the faint of heart, and it's not something that I want to go in without, like, a real good, strong weapon uh, ready to go. And I, who knows, I may end up, like I've said before, I may end up respecking before we go through there, depending on how I feel about my build uh, at the end of this. Like, or depending on how I feel about my build by the time we get to that point. So, respecking may be necessary, because that's what I had to do before fighting Melania in my first playthrough. Was I ended up... I ended up respecking for the very end of the game, basically. Uh, in order to make it a little... More of a fair fight against her. And... 
and also just to help with even some of the other end bosses, like, like, uh, fighting, uh, Malakath, I think, I think I, I mean, I didn't respec for that too, but respecting for Melania helped with him too, I think. So, who knows, we might end up having to do that before the end of the game. I guess, I guess we will see. So it looks like everything, I just ran through all these rocks in circles, I feel like. So I think everything through there is good. Uh, and this kind of dumps us back out to this side where the grace is. But I haven't checked, it, well, we're not quite all the way around because some of these ruins I haven't f even, I haven't even trodden on yet. And there's still these guys. Crap, I knew that that- Oh, crap, I need to- I need to move, I need to move. Whew. Okay, don't do it again. Jeez. Okay. Crisis averted. Uh, okay, so we're almost- we're almost all around the edge here. So this one would have been the one that I started on, right? So all of this- yeah, all of this is good. Uh, so in a second we can start moving in towards the middle. Since I think all of these sunken things along the edges have been done. Is there anything in this? Kind of like the Academy Gate Town. I, I figured maybe there would be something up on top of there. Even though it's crooked. They could have they could have non-slip feet on the chest. That sits up there so that it won't, it won't slide out. Uh, so this is good. Inside these trees. Oh, actually, we got a crystal bud. Inside those trees was not good. Hadn't collected everything. Shame on me. Shame on me for nearly thinking that I had explored as thoroughly as I needed to. Okay. So now we can start moving into some of this inner stuff, I guess. Can you not do that? I would appreciate that. Man, it's just guy. It's just big albinaric after big albinaric with the big old tree trunk. Ooh, and there's... These are Mikola's lilies, right? Yeah. Got some Mikola's lilies. Don't mind if I do. Appreciate that. Uh, okay, so... We're working our way towards the middle. We're not quite at the middle yet. I think there's still a couple things to pick up, probably. But I could be mistaken. Maybe there's nothing. We might have picked up everything that there is to pick up besides directly in the middle. But I don't know yet. You never know until you check thorough. That almost kind of rhymed. I was trying to make it rhyme. You never know until you check thorough. Uh, okay, so this then... Yeah, I think we're good all through here. So let's, I guess, go to the middle and check out what this, what this guy is guarding. What this body in front of him has. Oh, is that a... That's like a person. Not even like a. Oh wait. Okay, hang on. As soon as I pick that up, I, I think that looks like Latena's body. I was thinking that it was gonna be maybe like a, I don't know, like a like a demi human or or like a Rea Lucar or yeah, like a sorcerer or a sorceress or something. But it very much looks like. Huh. Yeah, it looks a lot like Latena. So I wonder, that wouldn't make sense though, because doesn't she die in that, like, back here by the shack, and that's when she promises to, like, come to your aid or whatever? I don't know, I don't, I don't know all the lore surrounding that, but regardless, it is, it's not just a, it's not just another creature, it's, it's basically like another tarnish, it's a, it's a human, human type person there. Okay, so Temple Quarter, I think, is done. So, then all of this is done. Temple Quarter's done. Uh, this is good. Yeah, so I think then... We're pretty much good. So, here's what we should do then, I think. Let's go... Mm, yeah, rather than wrapping up the episode, let's, let's quickly move up through... Like this gulch a little bit real fast. Uh, like this one over here. 
I haven't moved up into that at all yet. Where... Wait, actually, hang on. What direction? It's this way. It's this way. I figured it out. Don't you worry. Figured it out. Uh... Yeah, so we'll at least start moving up into this gulch a little bit. I was planning on saving this gulch, I guess, for, uh, for, like, after Rey Lucaria, but we might as well move our way up through some of this and maybe, maybe just get to, like, a grace or something. I can't believe you would have the audacity to do that, just fling yourself at me like that. Uh, and so this, this gulch, though, it leads up towards where, like, the, the, the secondary entrance, or the back entrance to the Altus Plateau is at. So, obviously don't really need to go back here yet, because we're not at all ready to go to the Altus Plateau. But I can at least, we can at least kind of clear this and make our way up towards it. And, uh, and so right along where these ruins are right here, that, that was about the line that I've made it to in terms of exploration. I think I've killed all this stuff before, but since I'm here, we'll, we'll do it again real fast. Just check around all these rocks and, and stuff. Uh, so then that island, that's where Test Tube's Rise is on. And that is done. So, let's make this happen. Let's move our way up through here. I wonder, I wonder if there's a, is there a grace on our way up through here? There's no way that there's not one all, until all the way up there, I don't think. But maybe because this, maybe because the Bellum Church grace leads down into the gulch, maybe that's technically the grace throughout the middle of, of this. So maybe there isn't a grace, another grace down in the water, I don't know. And I was thinking, I like this whole time I've been saying that we were pretty much, we were done with the water after everything that I just did, but I, I guess this technically is still part of the water. I just wasn't classifying it as part of the, like, the larger area of water because of the fact that it, it, like, squeezes in on itself back here into this, this, like, gulch crevasse area or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of land squirts underneath this. Let me check on top real fast, though. Grab all the ruined fragments. Whatever I can, whatever I can pick up, I will pick up. Cause I need all the things. Oh, and there's Albinarix resting on top of here too. And I think didn't I run over here the other day and grab the item that's underneath here already? I feel like I may have. I don't. I I have no idea what it was if I did, but I definitely. I I mean I obviously ran right past all of this because of the fact that. We explored everything surrounding these things, at least over on this side. Man, that looks really cool. Uh, excuse me again, what is that? Yawn 25 of the episode. Okay, so then all of this is good because this is just right off the edge of the land. I know I checked all that. This is good. Oh yeah, because this is where it gets back into... To, the lightning strike area where you get all the the fulgur blooms okay so did i grab an item over here or are they guarding an item like in between them or is there no reason to even go in here i don't really know i'm gonna go in here anyway just for good measure but oh wait i did not that is not what i wanted to do and that does not do a lot of damage so that feels pretty much pointless Man, when they're all just grouped like this, it kind of sucks. Oh, there, there's an item in here. That's why it's always important, even if it looks like there's nothing. Explore, explore, explore. That's what I've been saying all along. Dang it. It's annoying that, like, they're, they're poison. When you're sitting in it, it's not only poisoning you, it's doing, like, active damage to you. Like, not even poison damage, but just, like, almost, like, physical damage when you're sitting in the middle of one of their poison clouds. And I don't know what the difference is between their poison and some other poison. And why you can be sitting in it and you can, like, actively feel the damage. Hang on, I'm gonna get rid of these guys, that way they don't bother me at any point. I think that would be smart. Crap. I also... Dang it! Stop that! In a second here, I'm gonna take a, a bolus to get rid of my poison, but 
I just, I have a feeling I'm just going to get re-poisoned in a second here if I were to do that. So, I'm going to wait. It's just, yeah, I feel like it's a lot easier a lot of times just tanking it in the middle of, of poison. Ooh, and Torrent, he's, he's taking some serious damage too. And I am, I need to also heal myself though. Torrent, I'm so sorry, pal. I did not know that you were getting so low. I promise to never do that again. Actually, I don't, because I, yeah, I'll probably do it again. Man, there's so many underneath here. Okay, so Poison Bloom. All right, what is this? Two old fangs. That's kind of nice. You don't get those super frequently. What is this? Oh, I didn't even see this guy was still here. He's blending in with the dead ones. I saw this one, though. Don't you do it. Okay, there you go. And then this freaking dragonfly has been flying around me this whole time. Where is he? Oh, you know what? I can go ahead and depoisonify myself because I've, I've killed everything. Is he still flying around? No, I don't think so. I don't. Or, well, he probably is, but it's whatever. Okay, so both sides of this are done. On top is done. Uh, I think we're pretty much good then in the middle as well. Unless, oh yeah, I figured a couple of these probably still had items on them after I killed them that I didn't pick up. The problem is, it, the item sort of, when you kill these, the item sort of drops inside of them. See how you just barely see it, like the the shiny part of the item sticking out of their tail. Or their butthole, really. So, it's kind of hard to even tell when they drop an item. If you're in the heat of battle fighting a whole bunch, and then when you go back, you don't even know. Because you can barely see it. I do, though, like, and I feel like when I've seen people play through... Uh, these games I, I don't for some reason I can't remember as much with other FromSoft games but it's pretty obvious in this game if you're fighting something and you kill it it's pretty obvious if it's going to drop an item because it does that thing where where there's like the wispy uh like white that comes out around it and you know if that happens as you're killing it then there's going to be an item dropped and it's nice because then if you don't see that you know you can just kind of keep running and go do something else fight the next thing but if you see that, then you know, okay, I'll stay here for a second while it dies, long enough to pick up. Oh, wait, this, duh, I didn't even think about the fact that this land, I haven't checked yet, because this is land going into the gulch, so I am going to have to check this land. Uh, yeah, so I just like that, so it, it makes it a little easier. Uh, wait, and then this is, so that's Rayo Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Okay, yeah, so I didn't even think, it, yeah, all this land I gotta check along here, except... Maybe to right here, I think I've probably already checked. Uh, but yeah, it just helps you know if, if they're going to drop an item. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like when I see people play this game, they don't pay attention to that. Because it'll do that, like, wispy effect. Showing they're going to drop something, and they just walk away. And then you missed out on loot. Because, uh, yeah, didn't this... This is what gets up underneath the bridge. So that means that... Here, yeah, up to up to here, I would have I would have checked all of this. I would say, yeah, because then this goes behind. This goes back over to where that spirit spring is, which sends you up to Bellum Highway. And yeah, okay, yeah. So this I think I've done. But while I'm standing here, I might as well grab the items that are on this section of land because I can't pass up items whenever they're available, even crafty materials. Because you never know. You just never know when you're going to need them. Whenever I say that stuff, I'm being facetious because of the fact that I know that I'm going way overkill. So I'm really just making fun of myself for going overkill. Because I'm not going to need the 50 million golden or sun, uh, tarnished golden sunflowers that I've picked up. So I know, I know it's, I know it's all overkill. I've known the whole time. Uh, okay, so that's good. You know what? I should also, while I'm back in these areas, have my, my lantern on. I'm just zigzagging back and forth like everywhere else, making sure that I don't miss anything along here. And yeah, I was totally thinking, for I think because I had explored all of the, the land surrounding the base of Ray Lucaria, I had forgotten that this land here that I'm in now is stuff that I wouldn't have checked. And I think I've even checked... Didn't I check this land? I think I checked this land here, too. Like, 
like, even just this little section. We'll know when I get over there, but... Yeah, so I think I had checked that. So because of that, I was thinking that all this land here on this side was done too until I saw that little camp that we're heading towards up ahead that uh, that still had an item in it. So I'm glad I noticed because items could have been missed. And what a sad day that would have been. I would have been distraught, frankly. Probably would have just had to quit. Quit the whole playthrough, start over. Start from scratch. Can you imagine, like, that'd be quite the challenge run. Like, if there was a way to track if you've picked up every item. So then it's like... It's like if you leave an area, or if you rest at a site of grace or something before all the items in the area are picked up or something, like, you've got to restart the run. I don't know how, how you'd possibly do that, but I've just seen the crazy, ridiculous runs that people do when they make life so difficult on themselves. And so, just that does not seem that far-fetched for what some some people who run this game do. Because I mean, people go to the extent of of being like level absolute level one with like no attribute points or anything, and on top of no attribute points whatsoever, and not being allowed to level at any point or or, or anything like that, just fighting everything with like a shield. Like people do ridiculous. It's crazy stuff. It's a ton of fun to watch. I just don't think that I would ever have the patience for a playthrough like that. I mean, but at the same time, I have had the patience to go through and check the environment to this, like, stupid level that I've been doing so far through the playthrough. So maybe I would have the patience for a run like that, since I'm doing one like this. I feel like this one's a little more abstract, though, because it's you can't really measure exactly if you've walked through every last portion of land. I just have to do my best. Whereas you can measure if you've, like, killed anything with anything other than a shield. Like, that kind of thing. So you kind of know when you lost and got to restart. But, I would, shoot, I would never restart this because we are so many hours and we're close to 70 hours in at this point, I think. And still have a good bit left to go, I feel. Uh, so, yeah, this right here, this little camp, is what made me realize, oh, yeah, this land has not been checked. So this this camp was a lifesaver. wasn't a lifesaver for the guy that I I just picked an item off of, though. He is He is very dead. Poor guy. Poor wandering noble. Uh, yeah, and I don't think we're not gonna make it to a grace up here today. This this area is just it's wider, it's wider than I thought. It it really thins out up here, but I forgot that all this is a bit wider, so this takes a little longer to go through. Uh, so we got Albinarix on some of these little island things. Uh, and then, okay, so this over here is where the camp is at. In some ways, I wonder if I should do what I've done everywhere else and, like, finish exploring all this land along the edges and then go out into the water. It just always feels like that keeps things separated better so I don't miss anything. So maybe that is what I'll do. So I'll just stay on the land until I, until I can't stay on the land anymore and I'm forced into the water and then we'll come back here. And, uh, and, can you, and continue exploring from, from back in this area in the land that I'm kind of... or in the water portion that I'm skipping over right now. And again, I would kind of... I kind of hope... Excuse me, that there's another grace somewhere in this in this gully. But I just don't remember. I have, I have no idea. Next one that we find might be all the way over back here. Like, near where this is, but... I don't know. Yeah, Bellum might be the only other one. I guess we will see. And we've and Bellum is done. Like we've gone through all of all of Bellum Highway and all the stuff surrounding it and everything. Uh, but we haven't gone on the path that leads out of the out of the gulch up towards Bellum. Uh, or up towards uh, Bellum Church, because there's that, that path that basically goes into the basement of Bellum Church down into the gulch. So we haven't gone along that like incline yet either so but all this land essentially will lead us to that i think so all in good time we will check that out 
as well. What are we at right now in time? We're, we're kind of at the edge of... Like, this is longer than I was going to do today's episode. I'm just trying to find a good stopping point. I haven't really hit a good point where it's like, okay, this makes sense to be done for the day here. Because right now we're sort of in, again, in an area where I don't think there's really, like, a grace. So I feel like there's not a place to stop. So I guess for a few minutes here, we'll just, we'll just keep going. See if I find something. So that area in there, like I said, I feel like that part of the land, didn't I go on that? Oh, I do see a grace up there. Sweet. Okay, so let's, let's finish off, or at least I think I see a grace up there. So let's finish off this section of land here that leads all the way up to the grace. We'll grab it, and then we can call it an episode there. Uh, oh, and we're back to stuff I was already at, because I see, see a couple spots where there would have been crafting materials that I already picked up. Okay, so that makes me feel better, that we can kind of finish off this section of land and uh, run, make it over to this grace, and then we can call it for the day. I just seriously was kind of thinking that there might not be a grace down here on the ground, but I think that that's one right over there, like on the shore. Which is basically then right beneath Bellum Church, so it's like Bellum is just like the higher up grace, and this is the lower, the lower ground grace type of thing. Which, I mean, happens throughout the game. There's those times where it's almost like there's... A couple times you look at the map and it looks like two graces are basically on top of each other. But it's just because one is like in a little higher area and one is down below or whatever. And it's just, they don't necessarily connect by land. So you've got to have a, a place to fast travel above and below. But here it does connect by land. Because like I said, you've got that, that path that leads up towards Bellum Church. Uh... But still, you're not going to want to necessarily run down that whole path every time you're trying to get down here. Look at that grace. Looking all pretty over there. Beautiful, beautiful grace. Decided to go... Discover that... That site. Okay, so we're almost... We're almost there. Like I said, I just wanted to get through this section of land on this side. We'll go through the other side... Probably tomorrow... And again, some of that land right there I may have gone through, but I just don't, I just don't remember. So I guess we'll see when we, when we actually go to it. Uh, okay, so that's all good. That section of land. Some blood roses. Blood roses here. Ooh, and a crystal bud. Don't mind if I do. Uh, and is there anything... Doesn't look like... Oh, I thought I saw... Thought I saw a wolf there. Thought there was a wolf getting ready to come eat my toes. It's really all he can reach when I'm sitting on torrent. He just reach my toes. He can bite my toes off, and that's it. He can bite my toes off, and then he and then the wolf stands there and laughs at me while I while I stumble around because my toes are missing. It's crazy how much impact toes have on your balance. I don't speak from experience because I have all 10 toes, but from what I understand, toes impact your balance significantly, which makes sense, but it's just, it's weird that, that those little nubs do a lot for you. Okay, so yeah, then this is where land ends, basically, because this is, I think, isn't all of this probably part of the path that leads up, so that's like higher up land. So then this side of the land ends here. So that means this whole side of this, the, the land on this gully is done. But then we're going to have to go back through this middle section of water here. Some of the stuff that I didn't do. And then this land over here, if I haven't done that yet, which I'm, I'm not sure about. I won't know until we actually go stand on it. Okay, so what is, what is this? This is the ravine. Okay. Uh... Cool. So yeah, this is what I was talking about, how this is, the ravine is, Grace is basically just right below Bellum Church, so. Alright, anyway, so that's going to wrap us up for today. Uh, so if you enjoyed today's episode, I would highly appreciate it if you would leave a like, maybe a comment, and also hit subscribe. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.